Welcome back to the UBB. I am going to build a road for the coffee table. Now, what I have for the road is I got my plaster of Paris. You can get this at uh, Home Depot. I found some tape around the house and also some masking tape. And I'm thinking I'm going to put the road kind of go right across is uh, the idea I have. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay some of this tape down. So I think I'll do the road probably right across there. Now, I'm just making this up as I go along. You really should have a plan of attack. But uh, I just have fun making it up as I go. Strip there. So that's going to be how wide our road is. Now it's not going to be like it's a major road where I want to measure it to make sure you have lanes and stuff. It's just kind of the small back road that I'm going to do. So I'm going to go up over the track and right off the edge of the board here. Now they make better tape for this. You go to the hobby store, you have some uh, real good stuff for doing this. Now go to the other side and go right off the board there after my inspector comes through. And then, now this is important to have a good inspector to know when there's a problem. Uh, they'll flag you for it and uh, possibly get fined. So you're just going to look it over, make sure I got all the right stuff. Or at least the stuff I'm going to use. And she's really, really looking into it, making sure everything's top notch. Alright, so then I put some on this side. The other side of the cattail. So that's basically going to be the road. I'm going to come up over the track, go across over the track. Maybe I'll put like a little building or something here with a one light or something. Kind of the middle of nowhere kind of look, maybe. I haven't decided yet, but this is where the road's going to be. So then after that, you're going to want to get your plaster of Paris. And this is what I'm going to mix it in. I've already mixed some for doing stuff for other things, so I just I like using the stuff I can throw away. I don't have to spend a whole lot of time cleaning it to reuse. I can wait till it dries, it kind of breaks out of there, and then you can reuse it or just throw it away and use something else. So now I'm gonna mix some plaster of Paris so I can pour it in there. Well, before I do that, I forgot you should probably add. Some of this tape to go across the tracks there. But I'm going to plaster in there too. Make that little piece and that'll kind of keep it from going all the way out. What's also nice about when you have a, a grade crossing. is uh, it helps you put your train on the track almost like a railer. So none of this has to be perfect because I mean after 
you start doing all the scenery and stuff things are kind of blend in you can kind of put some weeds around there you can cover up things really you know doing the scenery is kind of one of the more fun parts because you just use your imagination and do it however you want to do it and then you also on the, on the edges here you want to tape those so you don't want because I'm going to leave my plaster uh, a little a little runny not real thick so it kind of settles better so you don't want the so coming off the ends. And then again, you can do this any other. I mean, there's no right or wrong way. It's just however you want to do it. It's just a common way and an uncommon way. This probably isn't very common. But I'm just doing it because it's what I have laying around the house, and that's how I'm going to do it because I'm I'm kind of cheap. Some plaster in there. Some water in there. If it doesn't come out the way you like, you can uh, add more plaster or add more water. And get it to whatever consistency you want to use. That's probably a little thick for what I want to do. Now I got it probably a little too runny. Alright, let's see how this goes. Just gonna pour it in there. Now, since this is like a back, probably a back more like country like road, leaving it uneven and you can do this any way you want to do this. Maybe I can leave it so you have like potholes and just, you know, an unkept road. I left it a little runnier, it probably would have been a little better, but it's okay. And here I just have like a, I found a nail file, it's like a popsicle stick or something, but you can kind of uh, flatten your road out like that. I use this extra to go in the track here. Now don't worry, I'm going to sand and file out the track to make it uh, so the train can run. I, I test run the train before I did all this, so the track's working good and fine. It's just something you want to do before you start uh, really almost permanently setting it in there. down I'm being a little messy with this I'm sure there's lots of better videos on how to do this but I'm so cheap that I'm doing it this way and I'll say it again there's no right or wrong way it's just a common and uncommon
Now you can leave the road kind of like that and make those potholes and stuff like that. You know, kind of an unkept road. And for this track, I'll make the grooves and get all the stuff off the top. So, I mean, the train will go over it just fine when I'm done. But first, you gotta let it, let it dry. Yeah, so, I'll mix up a little more to get, uh, to get these and Now you don't have to do this at all. You could just have it uh, a dirt road if you wanted. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to let it dry for a while. And then we'll uh, come back and pull the tape off and stuff. Alright, it's been a few hours. So let's... Uh, take this tape off feels pretty dry you see how that's why you use the tape you see how nice that edges take all this tape off get under there. There we go. And there we go. That's why I use the the border tape. So you have a nice straight edge going along. And then all this extra stuff you can cut or just paint over or whatever you want to do. I mean, there'll probably be a lot of grass and other things around all over and trees. So you won't even see this. But even leaving it there is fine because as you know ground and stuff is never that even so now you got to make a spot going across the tracks here because right now the train couldn't go across here because you don't have the grooves and you clean the top of the rails so we're gonna have to do something about that now I'm gonna try this it's probably not what you'd want to use, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's just a little plastic knife. I want to just cut a groove on the inside of the rails for both sides. I can 
tell right now it's not completely solid dry. It's still still a little what do I say moist. I mean it's pretty hard, but still a little moist. I want to do that to the side too. You can leave it like it's all cracked up, like old road and stuff. You can do that. It's pure railroad. You can do it any way you want to do it. You also got to clean the top of the rails and make sure the train we had good contact. I'm using the knife like this to make sure it's flat all the way across too. Because you don't want the bottom of the train hitting stuff. Alright, I'm going to try that. So I'm going to get the controller hooked up and the train on there and let's see... If I have to do some more, have to scrape some more off there. All right, and let's see if the train goes. I'm not getting power for some reason. There we go. So it stopped there. So I still got some. So I had some cleaning to do there. Here we go. Lost contact. Try again. Well, still losing contact over there. Okay, on this first crossing, but it's something's wrong with this tr crossing. Well, not wrong. I think it just needs to be cleared up some. It's getting, it's getting stuck. So I think it could just be the inside here isn't cleared up enough.
Try to go again. Nope. Still not going. Doing a little better. So right now I think the wheels are a little dirty from going over that. It's a little, a little jerky in places, but uh, so we gotta clean those up more. But it is working. As you can see, a little, little dirty from going over and stuff. So it just needs to be a little cleaned up more, but it is working. Well, that's uh, the start of my road, or the main road for this little layout. So that's what I'm doing today, is that road. You can do it any way you want to do it. This is how I did it. This is, you know, because I try to use whatever I have laying around the house. Because I don't want to keep going and buying all the fancy stuff. But you can sure do that if that's how you want to build your railroad. So leave a like and a comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll do some more of these as I build this little coffee table layout.